If you have ever talked to Alexa, unlocked your phone with Face ID, or chatted with a robot, you've seen artificial intelligence, AI, in action. AI comes in different types, each telling a story about how AI has grown and where it's headed. In this video, we'll explore seven types of AI, from machines that react to those that understand themselves. Each type shows us a different part of AI's journey. Join us as we explore the exciting world of AI and see what the future holds. Let's explore the different types of artificial intelligence based on their capabilities. Here's a breakdown of AI based on how they learn and apply knowledge, categorized into three capability types narrow AI, general AI, and super AI. Let's delve into each type to understand them better. Number 1. Narrow AI Narrow AI, also called weak AI, does specific tasks within certain limits. It's not like AGI, which tries to be smart in lots of ways like humans. Instead, narrow AI focuses on one job, like Siri or Google Assistant, helping with questions or Netflix suggesting what to watch. This type of AI is everywhere, making our lives easier. But it's not like us. It follows rules or learns from data without understanding like we do. For example, a narrow AI recognizing pictures looks for patterns in labeled pictures but doesn't really know what the objects are. Even though narrow AI is handy, it has limits. It can't do things outside its job and it needs good data to work well. If the data isn't diverse, the AI might not be fair or accurate. In the future, narrow AI will keep getting better and doing more in our lives and jobs. But there are risks, like unfairness or losing jobs. We need to be careful and check these risks as narrow AI becomes a bigger part of our world. Also, new AI tech like systems handling different kinds of info at once will make narrow AI even smarter. This could help fix some of its limits and make it even more useful down the road. Number 2. Artificial General Intelligence AGI. Artificial General Intelligence AGI, is like the big dream of AI. It's about making AI that's as smart as humans. Do you know how your phone's Siri or Alexa can do stuff for you? Well, AGI would be like them, but way smarter. It could learn new things by itself and solve all kinds of problems without being told what to do. Right now, though, AGI is still just an idea. Scientists and tech folks are trying all sorts of things to make it real. Some are working on fancy computer stuff like neural networks and deep learning. Others are trying to copy how our brains work. If we ever get AGI to work, it could change everything. It might make life easier in lots of ways and help with big problems, but making it happen is a big challenge. Still, people are giving it their all to make AGI a reality. If you're excited to learn about various types of artificial intelligence based on their functions, be sure to stick around until the end of the video. And don't forget to show your support by giving us a thumbs up and subscribing for more content like this. Number 3. Artificial Superintelligence ASI. Artificial Superintelligence ASI, also known as Super AI, is the ultimate level of AI. Imagine AI becoming so smart that it surpasses human intelligence. That's the idea behind ASI. It's like something out of a sci-fi movie, where AI becomes not just smart, but super smart. In this scenario, ASI would learn and grow at an incredibly fast pace, eventually becoming way smarter and more capable than humans. It's the kind of AI that could lead to those scary stories you hear about, AI takeovers in the movies. But right now, it's all just speculation. We're not there yet, and some people even debate whether it's possible at all. Still, some experts think that if we ever reach ASI, it could be a game changer. It might revolutionize technology and society in ways we can't even imagine. Moving on, let's dive into the various types of artificial intelligence based on their functions. Functionality refers to how an AI puts its learning abilities into action. 
like processing data, reacting to inputs, and engaging with its surroundings. AI can be categorized into four main types based on functionality. Number four, reactive machine AI. Reactive machines operate in at the moment, responding to immediate commands or tasks without the ability to store past experiences or learn from them. They're limited in their responses to specific inputs and lack memory or learning capabilities. Despite these limitations, reactive machines serve essential functions like filtering spam emails or suggesting items based on browsing history. However, they can't adapt or improve over time. Examples of reactive AI includes IBM's Deep Blue, which defeated a chess grandmaster in 1997, and Netflix's recommendation engine, which suggests shows based on viewing history. Based on the information about reactive machine AI, what are some other tasks or functions you think could benefit from this type of AI despite its limitations? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Number 5. Limited Memory AI Limited Memory AI can save past information and use it to predict outcomes. This means it creates its small database of recent knowledge and uses it to perform tasks. At its core, Limited Memory AI relies on deep learning, which copies how the human brain's neurons work. This lets a machine learn from its experiences, getting better at its tasks as it goes along. Today, most AI applications use the limited memory model. It works in lots of situations, from simple tasks like chatbots to complex ones like self-driving cars. Examples of Limited Memory AI Chatbots and Virtual Assistants These AI programs use deep learning to chat with people learning from each conversation to give better responses. Self-driving cars these cars watch and analyze the world around them as they drive. This helps them figure out when to turn, stop, or avoid obstacles. Number 6. Theory of Mind AI Theory of Mind, in the context of AI, refers to its capability to perceive and understand the emotions of others. This concept originates from psychology, which describes humans' ability to interpret others' emotions and predict their future actions based on this understanding. Despite being an essential milestone in AI development, the theory of mind has yet to be fully achieved. While the theory of mind holds promise for positive advancements in technology, it also presents certain risks. Due to the intricate nature of emotional cues, AI systems may require significant time to accurately interpret them, leading to potential errors during the learning phase. Additionally, there are concerns that once AI can respond to emotional signals alongside situational ones, it may lead to job automation. An example provided by Raphael Tena, a senior AI researcher at insurance company Accresure, illustrates the potential impact of a successful theory of mind application. While a self-driving car may outperform a human driver most of the time by avoiding common human errors, it may lack the ability to recognize that a child frequently plays near a neighbor's driveway after school. As a human driver, you would naturally adjust your speed in such situations, something a self-driving car equipped with basic limited memory might not do. This highlights the importance of the theory of mind in AI for handling complex, real-world scenarios. Number 7. Self-Aware AI Self-aware AI refers to artificial intelligence endowed with self-awareness, a significant milestone often termed the AI point of singularity. This stage surpasses the theory of mind, representing a pinnacle in AI development. Self-aware AI is believed to grant AI machines the ability not only to perceive the emotions of others, but also to possess a sense of self. One prominent example of advanced AI is Sophia, a robot created by Hanson Robotics. While not truly self-aware, Sophia's sophisticated application of existing AI technologies offers a glimpse into the potential future of self-aware AI. This future presents both promise and peril, sparking ethical debates about the morality of creating sentient AI. Which capability-based type of artificial intelligence do you find most fascinating or relevant to your daily life? Let us know in the comments below.
If you enjoyed learning about the advancements in AI, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating content. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video. Discover the world of Google AI revolution and its achievements in our video, Google's AI revolution, their backstory and future plans with AI integration. Click here to watch now. Or are you looking for more captivating content? We've got just what you need. Hit play on another intriguing video and keep the excitement going.